Japanistas having to be very brave here. And she is. She's got all the courage in the world and goes on to win the Yorkshire Oaks. I think for Miss Rousing, it was very important that Alpinista won a Group 1 in, in England. She won a Group 1 in France, three in Germany. And um, I think it was a great day for Landway to start and a great day for Miss Rousing. I was very keen for her to, to win a Group 1 in this country. She having already done so in Germany times three and in France earlier this year, it seemed uh, the obvious thing to let her show her talents to the uh, local race goers, domestic race goers here in England. And I'm delighted that she's now uh, group one winner in three countries, which I think uh, takes a lot of doing. I think there was a, a, a great a great sense of uh, job done when she won the, the British Group 1. Uh, she'd obviously been placed in the race previously, but uh, I, I think also it, it franked, franked how good she is. I think there was a real warm glow at York afterwards. Uh, I think there was a good, very warm reception for Miss Rousing and for Samara. It felt very special. Between Miss Rousing and myself, we're not uh particularly good at being there on the big days. We seem to avoid them and certainly all those group ones in Germany, uh, we've never been there. So it was a great day to get Miss Rousing there and uh, of course she had a wonderful day and uh, she's going to go to Paris so hopefully she'll have a wonderful day there. I think it was Charlie Whittingham who famously said horses are like strawberries, they spoil overnight and uh, so far she's been fine. She's really suited for a race like the Ark because I think she's so straightforward. Uh, she settles very well in her races, but she's got a high cruising speed, so if they go very quick, you know, she can comfortably travel at that pace. If they go slow, she's proved that she can quicken. So, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen on the day, but you hope everything that she's shown thus far will, will, will make that, you know, she's an easy ride. It's been extremely exciting. I've seen some amazing places that I would have never seen if it wasn't for her. Um, it's always a little bit nerve-wracking as well, but thankfully it's always been a very jolly journey home and an enjoyable experience. I'm enormously proud of having won over 2,000 races from a 50-horse stable. And when I started, I never thought I'd get 2,000 winners out of them. So that's great. But the, the big gap is I'd like to win an English classic race, which I haven't done. I've won a French Oaks, but not a not an English swan, so that's the big gap and the Prix de l'Arc Triomphe. Well, it would be very, very nice.